This is the same room I have always filmed in. I know it looks different, and that's because I got a new desk, and I decided to switch places where my desk and my bed was, so you're looking at my room from the other side. This is how it's going to be from now on. Hope you like it. Now, where were we? Oh yes, let's talk about germs. The story of Louis Pasteur won Best Actor at the Academy Awards for Paul Muni playing the title character. It also won the awards of Best Story and Best Adapted Screenplay, both written by Peter Collings and Sheridan Gibney. Now, let, let me talk about those for a second. Now, I think back then they had the Best Story category because there's the screenplay and then there's the story. And I guess back then they felt they had a distinction between the two. Nowadays, best adapted screenplay really just means you took an existing piece of work and made a movie around it. Back then, I guess you could come up with a basic story and submit that in the best story category. And then you can write a script around that so it could be called an adaptation. So it's a little weird. I guess this is... It's not really an adapted screenplay by today's standards, given that it is not based off a book or a play or anything, any pre-existing biographical work about Louis Pasteur. They just took Louis Pasteur's history and they cobbled it together to make a screenplay. Now this movie is a biopic, meaning that Louis Pasteur was an actual person. And for those of you who don't know, Louis Pasteur was a chemist that was best known for coming up with the germ theory. He came up with the idea that Sicknesses and illnesses that we contract and suffer from are actually from little bitty microbes so small that we cannot see with our own eyes. Back then, that was a very radical development. So because of him, we have vaccines. Because of him, we have to wash our hands before dinner. But with all facts and historical elements aside from this, this is a story about an underdog who has something that could rightfully rightfully changed the status quo of whatever his field is, while others on top are trying to put him down or trying to oppose him, disregard him, which is actually, unbeknownst to them, harming the greater good, and the underdog is trying to get his knowledge, what he has, out to the world so he can save the greater good. And that is Louis Pasteur. A chemist who has come up with the theory of germs, little bitty microbes that attack the body. Whereas the general scientific consensus back then, especially in his home country of France, was that illnesses are caused inside the body. The body does that to itself because the body is stupid, I guess. And it's not caused by outside forces that the human eye can't see. I mean, how could death something as huge and monumental as death be caused by something so small. It's unbelievable. This guy is a fraud. He's a charlatan. He's a hack. So this is the story of how one man rises above those labels and continues his scientific research, despite the fact he's not even a medical doctor. He's a chemist, for goodness sakes. Yet, he's doing this not to just make him, not really to make himself look good, but he's doing this for the greater good of France. He wants more people to survive by getting less infections. He wants sheep to be able to graze crops that are clean. He wants people to have a chance against rabies if they get bit by a mad dog, as they refer to in the movie. One thing I really found interesting about this film, and I probably wouldn't have otherwise, if had not for the fact I saw another film, is that with this movie, you're able to follow along with Pasteur's scientific progressions. 
the movie is able to explain to you without really taking too much time to do so. And it doesn't stop the movie to give you exposition. It's inserted in dialogue, and the audience is able to follow what Pasteur is doing. What is the progression of his scientific research into germ theory and whatnot? And I feel for a movie about a person, about a real-life person that invents something new in science and engineering and whatnot, it's important that the audience is able to follow along and understand, truly understand, why what he, what this person was doing was so significant. That way, you're not following the character just because the character's the eccentric one of the bunch. It's because you're able to understand his thinking. Throughout this movie, there are moments where I felt like, oh no, I don't know if Louis Pasteur is going to succeed here. What if he missed something? What if his research is incomplete? The movie is able to give... Such nice tension there. I only ever thought of this because recently I saw another movie that won an Academy Award, although far more recently. It is The Imitation Game, which won Best Adapted Screenplay. I remember watching the movie, and it's supposed to be about a guy who invented, like, the first major computer, and he did it to crack an unbreakable code. I remember feeling like I couldn't follow along with the progression of him designing the computer. I didn't understand what was going on scene by scene. I understood, oh, the machine's not ready, but I didn't understand why the machine wasn't ready at first. I didn't understand how the machine was able to crack the code, just that it did crack the code. So in other words, the movie made me root for this guy that was inventing something new that would change the status quo just because he was the eccentric guy played by Benedict Cumberbatch, and eccentric people are smart, so you should just get on board with that. We don't have to explain to you too much of what he's doing because you're too stupid to understand it. I may have overblown the cynicism there, but that's what I got from Imitation Game. I did not get that with the story of Louis Pasteur, despite the fact that this is a movie made 80 years ago. It's also very well paced. It's only an hour and a half, so it's able to get the progression. You're able to start with him trying to stop anthrax in sheep, him progressing his trials and tri tribulations over figuring out rabies. And there was one scene in this movie, is the only real con I have is for the, the, the way it was directed. There's a scene in like a major carnival setting and all of a sudden one guy freaks out and I think he just says mad dog, but I can't understand what he says. Maybe it's just the way they recorded audio back then. But all of a sudden, it's just a bunch of little jump cuts of everyone freaking the hell out and running every which way. And then a couple of shots, it shows a dog. And it's just there. I'm like, what's the dog doing? And then eventually it shows a person on the ground, and they say he was bit. And then later, I guess he's going a little nuts because he has rabies. And then they say, you know, if only we could cure rabies. And then, right then and there, it was like, after the fact, oh, I understood what happened. I felt the scene was directed so badly. It needed build-up. They needed to show a dog, and then it needed to show someone else freaking out about the dog. And maybe it's because, like, the dog has, like, frothing coming out of its mouth. And then they could have staged the dog trying to bite somebody. I don't know. It, it was just directed very chaotically to the point where I didn't know what the <coughs> fuck was going on. Another problem I had with the movie is how... This is supposed to take place in France, and some people have French accents and some people don't, and it was very inconsistent, so it's sort of like, if someone's gonna have a French accent, have them have a French accent. Otherwise, don't have anybody have a French accent. It, it, it's really bothersome for me. Other than that, the actors did a fine job, especially Paul Muni, who really kept his accent. I, I think he was trying to go for a French accent, but I don't think it was altogether there so he, he just had you know a Paul Muni accent thing going on but he nailed it perfectly I believed him as Pasteur I believed him on his journey his progression throughout the movie I would definitely recommend this as a movie to watch maybe if you're into uh, microbiology this would be something you could check out because this movie is certainly worth it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time